A cross-section of citizens who spoke said they were proud of Governor Fanyo Kowa for remaining gender-friendly in all the programs of his administration. The people urged the newly sworn-in female commissioners to make the state proud and be role models to other women and girls. Since uh, the inception of this particular administration, the first turn and even in the second turn, women have always been there, occupying vital positions, you know, sharing ideas and everything. So, I mean, there's no, there's no difference between a man and a woman in this particular administration. We are all doing very well. Women have shot past the glass ceiling. So, for every woman that is up there, there's a lot expected of her. So, they just have to be up and doing. But we want to thank God that we brought our first 11 out. And so, they all have sterling qualities. Uh, this is women liberation and Oga has made it mandatory that in his administration he's going to cooperate with women. Apart from five women being a commissioner, go and find out the deputy chairman of all the program. They're essentially women. The time is come. They're taking it now. Great. Let them go back home. Put themselves together. Put the house together and support the government. Some of the commissioners thank Governor Fanyo Kowa for giving them the opportunity to serve and promise to work with a sense of urgency in actualizing the stronger Delta vision of his administration. He means well, and I'm so happy, I know, that he will continuously ensure that the dividends of democracy comes the way of all Delta before he leaves. It cannot make a forest. Even if we have found worthy to do the work, we cannot do it alone. We need support from everyone. We're to rest on our houses or maybe leaving any stone on top. Uh, it's time to work. Governor Fanyo Kowa, while swearing in the commissioners, said the inclusion of five women in the EXCO was to enhance women's participation in decision-making processes of governance. Unisemi Ezia reporting.